Hello friends, uh, update from Iceland, breaking news from Iceland, situation remains tense in the city of uh, Grindavik, where we are expecting volcanic eruption. Um, yesterday and also today, there had been detected sul sulfur dioxide in the city of Grindavik, and it is a kind of disturbing sign. The article from yesterday, the interview with Torvaldur Tordrason, the most famous Icelandic volcanologist, appeared uh, at morning newspaper, here you see it, I Google translated it, and he says that new measurements of sulfur gas indicate that magma has moved higher into the Earth's crust. He says the magma may now lie at depths of 400-500 meters. Here you see his picture, and he knows that it can take time for the magma to break up. Uh, he compares it to shaking of a coke bottle. If uh, this is sulfur that is coming already from the magma, then it is very shallow, says Torvaldur. He says magma needs to be at the depths of uh, about 500 meters to be able to dissolve sulfur gas, sulfur dioxide, SO2. So it must be at 500 meters because otherwise we wouldn't have uh, sulfur dioxide uh, in the city. When the pressure drops, the magma can release the gas. It is similar to when you shake a cock bottle and then take off the cap. Then the pressure will be relieved and then the eruption will come out, says Thorvaldur. So, for the gas to start to seep out, the magma has to reach a certain pressure or a certain depth. It was reported on the NBA newspaper today that the Norwegian Meteorological Agency had installed gas meters, which could be used to give increased warning of an impending volcanic eruption. Later today, or just before 3 p.m., it was decided to evacuate Grindavik after sulfur gas was detected in the atmospheric fear. People were allowed to come there to pick up their goods and they were coming from um, from the east using Suther Strander Vegur which was heavily packed with cars today but you see they had to evacuate uh, the people again from the city because of uh, sulfur dioxide that had been detected um, in the air. So People were allowed to come in yesterday and also today to pick up their belongings from the houses, but uh, at 3 p.m. it had been decided to to close the area immediately again because of the gases which are coming into the area. So magma is very close to the surface and might break up in Grindavik or along the dike which you saw in the pictures. Uh, now, what he says else? Ask it if the state of magma indicates that the eruption is imminent. Thorvaldo says he can't say whether that is the case. I don't know. You would have thought so, but it seems that there is also some kind of presumption, says Thorvaldo. There is something that is delaying the ascent of the magma, at least here in Grindavik, because if we just look at all the numbers and sizes, the depths of 400 or 500 meters is really nothing. You would think that magma would have a relatively easy pass to the surface after that. But there is something that seems to delay the magma coming up. And the magma then will try to find some other way up, which is just the best thing in itself. This can delay magma as much as it wants. Uh, so here you see the rescue teams. I was there today driving from the airport home to Thorlach shop. I was driving some people to the airport and I tried to drive through Grindavik. It's closed. It's impossible. Uh, there is certain great un uncertainty about the development for the next days, but an eruption is still very likely. Uh, yes. Now uh, let's let's take a look at the earthquakes uh, in the area, and you see there are still many, quite many earthquakes in the past 24 hours. And you see all the activity is concentrated along the dike, the magma dike, which is crossing through Grindavik. A great amount of earthquakes in Grindavik city itself, as you see. The brown line that runs across the screen here, 
is a tectonic rift between two tectonic plates, North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, and it runs through the boundary, and it runs straight through the city of Grindelwald. That is the reason why we have this uh, disturbance in the area as tectonic plates are driven apart. Uh, right in the middle of Grindavik, you can say that. Uh, so those are earthquakes in the past uh, 24 hours and see how many of them had been in the city of Grindavik, primarily in the western part of the city. The eastern part of the city um, seems to be fine, not many earthquakes. So if there is eruption, it will be somewhere in the uh, western part of the city, along the dike, where that's where we have the fissure, the newly formed fissure, which is subsiding. Uh, this this new fall that got formed uh, during the recent earthquakes is keeps subsiding, falling down, sinking, you know, by a few centimeters every day. They did discover it today, so there is activity ongoing. Those are the earthquakes uh, from the past 24 hours. They are all very small and uh, insignificant, but uh, let's filter out magnitude 3. You see, there had been only one earthquake in the past, uh, in the past uh, 24 hours magnitude 3, and it was to the north of Grindavik at Hagafet Mountain, straight on the top of the Hagafet Mountain on the summit. Uh, well, you know, uh, we had volcanic eruption at West Manair, um, Ireland in 1974, and that eruption took place on the top of the mountain, which is right next to the city uh, of Heimae. Um, Eltfet uh, mountain in, on Heimae. Maybe we will see a similar thing here, eruption on the top of Helgefat, which I wouldn't exclude. Very strong earthquake there, and one was very strong earthquake on the ridge, on the Reckoness Ridge, on the tectonic fault line. Uh, so, let's uh, change to two magnitude 2 earthquakes. Yeah, a, bit, a few more, magnitude 2, stronger. Yeah, a few in the city of Grindavik, in the eastern part of the city. Yeah, all along the line, you see, all along the line. And a few on Reykjanes Ridge, and magnitude uh, 1 and larger, very many small earthquakes, like, and all along the, the rift line. And let's uh, check the shallowness of earthquakes at 2 kilometers, uh, magnitude 1, like all the earthquakes at the 2 kilometers depth. You see, uh, the shallow earthquakes are to the north of the city, like before. They are mainly to the north. Not we don't have shallow many shallow earthquakes in the city of Grindavik, so uh, very likely magma will break here to the north of the city. And I don't know whether it will run. Uh, maybe in Hagafat Mountain, maybe it will run to the ocean here or somewhere. You know, maybe the city of Grindavik will be spared. So, but it's trying to break through, and it's kind of strange that it doesn't. Uh, hasn't come yet to the surface like Thorvald told because 500 meters is a very short distance so it's something on the way which is block me, blocking it and it might find uh, its way out somewhere out, uh, in different location because 500 meters as he told is nothing for magma and but it can break through and the earthquakes uh, are telling us that uh, uh, the unrest is still there. You see, it doesn't stop. You know, it's trying to break through. So it doesn't stop. So you see how many earthquakes in the sea. Maybe because it looks like we have more earthquakes now to the south in the sea. Maybe it will break out in the sea somewhere. Very hard to say. But also there is unrest at Krisovik volcano next to Klewarvat Lake. Uh, right here you see many earthquakes. For what reason? I don't understand. It was even in the city where I live. Look, uh, magnitude 2 in the ocean. That's where I live. And it was earthquake here too. It's kind of strange. Anyway, there was, this is a situation in Iceland. Today, already 15th of November. All the best to you.